Fallout 4 has taken power armor to the next level. Instead of it being an endgame item like Fallout 3, it's much more readily available to use and to customize. Sure, you only need one suit to get things going, but for all the players who like to collect everything, then we've got you covered with pretty much every power armor location in the game. Let's start off with what is probably the first set of power armor you will encounter in the game. On the roof of the Museum of Freedom is a suit just waiting to be grabbed. This is like the first mission in the game, so you won't miss it. Just west of the USAF satellite station Olivia is a suit out in the open next to a downed vertebird. This one's a quick walk from Sanctuary. On a barge north of Nahant Sheriff Department is a suit of armor locked up in a shipping container. Make sure you have access to advanced lock picking to open this one up. On the way into Fort Strong, just north, is a power armor suit in a security checkpoint building. Depending on how you look at things, there are two to four armors at the Adam Katz garage. Two are empty and two of them are occupied. There's one in their garage, but there's one out back with a fancy paint job. If you haven't spoke with them yet, taking either of these is stealing. I suggest becoming their friends first. Inside Cave, way south, is a raider set of armor that's been abandoned. No one is here to stop you from an easy set of armor. South of the West Everett Estates is an armored convoy next to a crashed plane. Standing in the middle of all of this is a suit waiting to be picked up. A little southeast of Jamaican Plain, there is some power armor submerged in a pool of water. Look for the convoy vehicles nearby and go for a swim to get this one out. In the same area, just northeast of Jamaica Plain, is an army checkpoint with a suit just standing wide out in the open. South of the Greater Mass Blood Clinic are three warehouse looking buildings. One of them has a bunch of power armor stations and a leftover suit waiting to be claimed. Directly west of the Murkwater construction site is another downed vertebrate and another power armor waiting in water up to its knees. West of Finch Farm is an army convoy. Inside the large green semi-trailer is another suit of armor, but be on the lookout for a crazy robot guarding it. South of the Drumlin Diner is a derailed train. Still locked up is a set of power armor. The terminal controlling the door has a rating of advanced for a hacker entry. North of Watts Consumer Electronics is a suit of armor locked up on the side of the road. Once again, you'll need to know how to hack an advanced terminal to get this one out. South of the Rotten Landfill is a lake. Off the north shore of the lake, underwater, a power armor suit can be found. Pop some Rad X and go for a swim. East of Ten Pines Bluff, another power armor set can be found in a transport on a derailed train. This one is also locked up tight. The terminal to open it has an advanced rating and is in the train car behind the cage it's locked in. Northeast of Poseidon Reservoir, another army checkpoint awaits with a lonely power armor standing out in the open. Easy to find and easy to take. North of Old North Church is a barge outside of downtown Boston. The locked up power armor surrounded by vehicles is pretty easy to open up. The terminal is only novice level for entry. East of Grey Garden, on the tip top of an overpass is a suit of armor. Out in the open, find a Raider elevator to get to the top. At the Revere Satellite Array, there are a ton of super mutants and a shell of armor at the top of one of the satellite dishes. Proceed with caution. At the South Boston Military Checkpoint, around the corner of the building is locked up power armor. This one can be unlocked via the terminals outside, but you'll need to hack it with an expert rating to do so. Look for Custom House Tower. At the top, there are two angry robots that will try to kill you, and two buttons that when pressed will open the door to another power armor suit. At Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates, there is another power armor standing inside a, um, green trailer. The trailer is locked up, so you'll need to know how to pick an expert lock to get in. Now from here on out, a few of these armors could be a little spoilery. You've been warned. First, let's cover what I call Raider Scum Armor. You can't take these full suits since your opponent is wearing them, but you can rip off all the pieces and use them yourself. At Outpost Zimonja, you can find Boomer. He has a set of Raider armor and a mini nuke. Be prepared for a fight. Dunwich Borers is a quarry with a bunch of raiders and a raider waster in power armor. Lots of guys here, so lots of fighting will be happening. At the Mass Pike Interchange, there is a raider camp with a raider commander in a set of armor. Plenty of fighting here as well, so bring enough ammo. The city of Lexington has plenty of raiders and a raider scum in some armor. If you want to fight this one, pray they don't pull out the mini nuke like they did on me. 
At the Federal Ration Stockpile, there is actually an empty suit of T-45. If you're sneaky enough, you can steal it. But if you're seen, a raider will jump in it and you'll have a fight on your hands. At Revere Beach Station, there is a raider scaver willing to fight you with other raider buddies. Again, this raider will sometimes get out the mini nukes and the missiles. At the Quincy Police Station, there is a lady in power armor named Tessa. She's a big fan of melee combat. This town is also crawling with bad guys, so use caution. On the other side of Quincy Ruins, there's more bad guys, including Clint, who looks like the Lost Cowboy of Boston. He fights with an automatic laser pistol, and uh, fun fact, you can actually piss off Clint and Tessa at the same time and fight them simultaneously. I don't advise doing this. At the Roadside Pines Motel, another raider scaver can be found hanging out with some buddies. Show them who's boss. These last four are probably the most spoilery ones. The first is Inside Good Neighborhood. Working on the mission, The Big Dig, you'll eventually uncover a power armor suit after fighting some crazy enemies. There really isn't one particular armor here, but on the Brotherhood of Steel's ship, there are some T-60s with no one in them. At the National Guard Training Yard Armory, there is a set of armor inside. I would be careful, there's a withered feral ghoul who is kind of tanky and waiting for you. And finally, deep in the abandoned shack, a power armor suit waits for you at the bottom, but be on the lookout for the Institute. That's pretty much every power armor in the game. I more than likely missed one or two raider scums out there somewhere, so leave us a comment down below if you find them so other wanderers will have their shot at taking their armor. Let us know what other Fallout content you would like to see. This has been Andrew from Curse, wishing you happy hunting and enjoy the game.